Hopefully that's not too much. So good, it makes my skin just look literally flawless. I feel like I'm about to go into plastic surgery. This makes my lips so tingly, but they also look really plump. Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I showed you guys how to get this dewy, glowy makeup look. It really did not take me long at all. It's just a few products that are crucial for this glowy look. If you want to see me buying most of the products that I've used in today's video, check out my Sephora haul. I went shopping and I took you guys along with me. Today I incorporated the makeup in today's look and let me just tell you, definitely worth it. I love it and I'll definitely be wearing this look a lot. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So first I think I need to start with putting my braids back. I don't really know how I'm going to do this. I did like a little Hailey Bieber inspired hair. I put all the makeup I'm going to use in this little bin because I usually do my makeup at that little desk over there but the window is right here and I figured it would be the best lighting. Also just letting you guys know I have a mirror right here so I could really make sure I'm putting this makeup on properly. I'm so excited for this makeup look. I feel like the glowy dewy natural look has just been so in and i think it just looks so good on anyone so to start primer is super oh no okay to start i'm gonna use this elf putty primer i feel like this went viral like a year ago and it was so hard to get and completely understandable because this stuff is really good it just fills in your pores like perfectly also i broke a nail right before i started filming so i'm gonna use that finger to get this stuff out because it's like it's like literally a putty and you can see my nails because usually i'll just like take the back of my nail and then just put it on but since i got a broken one hopefully that's not too much oh this is bow she licks blankets like it's weird just girly things first i'm gonna take the charlotte tilbury flawless filter like thing it's not necessarily a foundation but it's not like you could wear it as a foundation but it's not foundation but i love putting this under my makeup it just really sets a good glowy base put it on kind of just however I don't know if you guys can tell but my skin is already looking pretty glowy ow if you have a nose piercing and you ever just like hit it and then it like stabs the inside of your nose so painful next i'm gonna take the charlotte tilbury flawless filter foundation i just love this stuff it's so good it makes my skin just look literally flawless like it says i'm in the shade 4.5 um medium I just put on self tanner yesterday. I feel like my face still looks kind of pale, but it matches, I swear. And I just like put it down to my neck because your face is usually whiter than your body, so. Make sure to drag down your neck. Everyone should know this by now. Okay. She's fully blended in. Now I'm just gonna take some concealer and put just light dots on where the foundation didn't exactly cover as much as I wanted it to. And for that, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. This stuff is a dupe for the Too Faced, I think that is concealer, which is like just full coverage. This stuff is, I like this stuff when I don't wanna wear foundation, but really just wanna cover up um, acne spots. This stuff is super good. It looks a little dark, but I think it should blend in with the foundation. And then just for under my eyes and brightening, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which is also a dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer. And for this, I just like to do two dots under my eyes and then kind of like going up. A little bit right here. Isn't she beautiful? I'm going to put this on. I blend in this one with my finger because I feel like it just blends it more smoothly whereas this it's I, it, yeah mm. 
Now is the fun part. Now is the contour and blush and highlight and that stuff. It's the stuff that brings my face back to life because right now we're looking a little pale. For contour, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit. Oh wait, it's off. <laughs> you have to like twist it to turn it on. When I first bought this, I was squeezing it so hard and I'm like, why is it not working? And then I didn't realize that there is like an on and off little switch. I think I'm just going to do three dots this way on my forehead, my nose, my jaw. So you can hear my boyfriend playing video games. He's very expressive. Okay, my nose. Look at that. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Okay. I feel like I'm about to go into plastic surgery. This stuff just blends so seamlessly. That's what I love about it. Now for blush, I'm gonna use the Benetint blush. All this stuff I pretty much just got in my recent Sephora haul. If you guys haven't watched that, as you can tell, I'm obsessed with it all. I like, okay, before I put this on, I like my blush to, I know some people usually just put it out on their cheekbones, but I like to drag my blush in, like, literally across my whole face. I like to blend my blush, like, under my eyes because I feel like it just hides, um, dark circles better. I don't know. I just really like the way it looks, and I just really like a super blushy look. Like, I want to look sun-kissed all day long. I like a little bit on my chin too. I kind of bring my blush up where my contour is as well. I wish I was doing my makeup when it was like really nice outside and sunny, but it's so cloudy and rainy. I look just a little bit washed out. The last cream product I'm gonna use before I set the products with powder is this Becca cream highlighter and i just take my finger and put it on the high points of my face nose highlight is so cute no one can tell me otherwise quick break to put on some chapstick because this makeup look on my lips is just not it and now we're gonna set this stuff with powder i'm gonna use this laura mercier powder in translucent this one's just a little mini one it gets everywhere too so be careful this is so messy i'm wearing black pants too this is not ideal i'm gonna use just a little bit of powder bronzer just to set that cream bronzer i used for this, I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna bronzer. Just gonna get a little bit and then just put that where I put the contour. I like to go in an upwards sweeping motion. I feel like that just also raises your cheekbones and your face as well. We're gonna add some powdered blush as well. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. Also the brushes I'm using, I'm sorry, I haven't actually been telling you guys. The white ones are BH Cosmetics. This one is Real Technique. I'm really not picky about my brushes. I just kind of use whichever looks like it will work in the moment. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use this NYX um, 
precision brow pencil i really like the anastasia one but this one works for now it just has a little spoolie on the end this is what the pencil looks like i need like a mini mirror for my eyebrows because this part stresses me out a lot i just kind of fill in the ends and a little bit in the f towards the front That should be good. I don't need them to be perfect, you know? It is what it is. After I fill them in, I like to brush them through again. Just to kind of blend the product. I don't really know. And then to keep them in place, I'm going to use the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. I kind of like that name. That's kind of funny. Because we're like controlling the brows with the gel. Now I'm gonna move on to the eyes, but before I do that, I'm gonna set my face with this milk setting spray. So for the eyes, I don't do anything crazy. I'm gonna take like a bigger blending brush and the bronzer that I used earlier and then just blend it all throughout my crease. Besides my eyes watering like really bad. Done with that. The last part I do to my eyes is just take some highlighter and then put it on the center and below my brow bone. For the mascara, I'm gonna just use the L'Oreal Telescopic. This one's the waterproof. I don't always wear waterproof, but when I want my eyelashes to be super long and stay long, that's when I use this. Otherwise, just the regular L'Oreal Telescopic is very good. I'm gonna curl my lashes first, like over here so I can see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to put this on off camera or like out of the viewfinder. Sometimes this mascara gets too clumpy because it's like too brand new. I cannot wait to put like lip stuff on. My lips look dead. Okay, putting this on my other eye out of the camera. Okay, we're almost done. Now for the lips, I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk liner in medium. And then I'm gonna put on some lip gloss, which is a plumping lip gloss. This makes my lips so tingly, but they also look really plump. This is a Milani Max Keep It Full lip gloss. I like to overline my lips a little bit, not drastically, but I like to go under um, my lips and then where your cupid's bow is, I usually just draw over it. I don't like, um, you know how it like dips? I just kind of draw over the dip. Life hack, it makes your lips look like you got lip injections, even if you didn't. I love lining my lips. It just makes your makeup look so much better. It's really putting on a show for the camera. forgot I also put on white eyeliner in my waterline this also just helps to brighten up your eyes and I still have not found a way to not pull down my eye when I put on liner I'm sorry I know it causes wrinkles you, you pick and choose your battles I'm sorry well this is the final makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed this glowy makeup tutorial this is definitely gonna be my go-to makeup look but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you do make sure you subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you guys in my next video